Now, with gratitude and humility, I would like to invite His Grace Sri Madhupandit Dasa, who is the founder and chairman of the Akshay Patra Foundation. He's an engineer by education from IIT Mumbai and a social engineer by compassion. His resolve to end classroom hunger, backed by his technical skills, resulted in him designing the state-of-art centralized kitchens for Akshay Patra. Under his visionary leadership, Akshay Patra has become a globally admired public-private partnership model in the, in the development sector, and it has resulted in feeding over 2.2 million children every day in India. And their London kitchen serves the needy as well. His guidance has resulted in the foundation rolling up its sleeves to serve during disasters across the world, like the earthquake in Nepal and Turkey, and also for feeding the vulnerable victims of floods, cyclones, and wars. Recognizing his public service, the government of India has conferred him with Padma Shri, Gandhi Peace Prize, and National Award for Child Welfare. Please, please welcome Shri Madhupandit Dasa. <clears throat> Respected dignitaries on the dais and dear friends, firstly, I'd like to express my heartfelt gratitude for the United Nations, to United Nations and the permanent mission of India for giving this opportunity for Akshay Patra to celebrate the milestone of having served four billion cumulative meals since inception. I thank all of you for joining us on this momentous occasion. UN Zero Hunger is a visionary goal that aims to end hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. GHI, or Global Hunger Index of a Nation, is a measure of its severity of hunger. India's GHI was 38.4 in the year 2000, which has reduced to 28.7 in the year 2023 indicating progress made by India in two decades towards ending hunger. Though it's a small improvement, there's a long way to go to achieve zero hunger. The wide impact of school midday meal is not just limited to contributing to sustainable development goal to zero hunger. It also plays an important role in achieving several other goals of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Goal number one, no poverty. Goal four, quality education. Goal five, gender equality. Goal eight, decent work and economic growth. And goal 10, reduced inequalities. The government of India, led by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, driven by the ideology of integral humanism, Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas, has developed numerous policies and programs aimed at alleviating hunger of those at the lowest economic sections of the society. Based on this tenet, the government of India has implemented various initiatives like National Nutrition Mission, National Food Security Mission, Zero Hunger Program, Eat Right India Movement, and Food Fortification Program, which have all benefited children, women, and vulnerable communities, bringing about food security and improved nutrition. As said earlier by several speakers here, the UNDP has estimated that India has lifted 415 million people out of poverty in the last two decades. The economic divide between the rich and the poor always existed in the past and will continue to exist on this planet. However, our only hope to provide food security to everyone on this planet is a compassion in the hearts of the wealthy that makes them share their wealth towards the cause. For such sharing, it is extremely important that we inculcate in our society 
the spiritual virtue of being less and less self-centric by embracing a more and more all-inclusive world view of the entire world being one family, a paradigm described in Indian ethos as Vasudeva Eva Tumbakam. It encompasses a passion for global well-being of every world citizen. Annadhan, or distribution of food, is considered to be the highest form of charity, Shreshtadhan, in Indian culture and has been practiced in India since ancient times. In Mahabharata, one of the great epics, it's mentioned that Lord Krishna advised Yudhishthira, Dadaswa Annam, Dadaswa Annam, Dadaswa Annam. O Yudhishthira, give food, give food, give food. Such is the importance of food distribution in Indian culture. The word Akshay Patra is also derived from the same Mahabharata. The Pandavas were blessed with a divine vessel during their exile in the forest. This vessel known, this vessel known as Akshay Patra could produce unlimited quantity of food. True to its name, the Akshay Patra program started by feeding thousands is now feeding millions of children. It is also enjoined in Indian culture that a human being However prosperous, rich, and accomplished he may become materially or even spiritually, he should never give up practicing the universal virtues of sacrifice, charity, and austerity, which is yajna, dhana, and tapa. The quality of compassion for fellow beings rises, within the great, rises with a great force in the heart of person who practices these virtues. The stakeholders of Akshepatra are such noble souls who have aroused such feelings of compassion for these hungry children. The numerous sustainable development goals of United Nations are very laudable. The goal of zero hunger is not merely an economic and organizational challenge, but it is also a challenge to find ways and means to infuse the universal spirit of compassion and sharing in the society beyond all religion, caste, gender, etc. However, the mission of zero hunger has to be prioritized among the children of this world. The famous saying is that child is a father of man. Mahatma Gandhi once spoke about the importance of beginning with children. Quote, if we are to reach real peace in this world, and if we are to carry on a real war against war, we shall have to begin with children. And if they will grow up in their natural innocence, we won't have to struggle we shall go from love to love and peace to peace until at last all the corners of the world are covered with peace and love for which consciously and unconsciously the whole world is hungering." Unquote. Akshay Patra is a food for education movement. We consider our task as that of arousing this potential quality of compassion within every human being to induce them to participate in this mission that no child should be deprived of education because of hunger. We present to the world at large that feeding the hungry, especially the children, is not mere charity, but it is a social obligation. We started this as a feeding program in Bangalore in the year 2000 for just 1,500 children in just five schools with no idea of scaling it up at that time. But the word of tasty free meals spread around, and there was great demand from hundreds of schools for me free, school, free meals. The government estimated <clears throat> the government program of hot midday meal had not started then. We were hesitant to scale it up because we did not know where the funds would come from. Then something changed. We came across an anecdote in the life of the founder of the worldwide Hare Krishna movement, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. When he came across a scene outside his temple, he had tears in his eyes. The scene was that of village children and dogs were fighting over little remnants of food left over on the leaf plates heaped outside after serving a feast to the guests. He issued a mandate to all his followers to distribute food unlimitedly to the hungry, proclaiming that for a great cause of feeding the hungry, God Almighty will ensure that there will never be short of resources provided we sincerely put our efforts. He gave the maxim, for God's work, God will directly provide. Inspired by this faith, we decided to scale up the program in spite of not knowing where the resources would come from. 
Akshay Patra success in the last two decades in scaling up feeding from 1500 children to 2.2 million children today is a testimony of this fact that any good work for the upliftment of mankind will never suffer for resources if we take it up selflessly. All of us at Akshay Patra are witness to this phenomenon of divine intervention at different points of crisis during the growth story of Akshay Patra. The activities of the soldiers of Akshay Patra is not only cooking and delivering food day after day, but also to keep knocking at different doors day after day to evoke more and more souls to participate in this war against classroom hunger. Akshay Patra has been successful in providing every stakeholder with a sense of belonging to this noble mission of eradicating hunger. This collaborative public-private partnership with the government has contributed towards not only eliminating classroom hunger, but also in improved learning ability, increased enrollment, retention of students in the schools, and ultimately getting families out of the cycle of poverty. Akshay Patra's work in the last two decades have resulted in hundreds and thousands of families coming out of poverty. It fills our heart with pride to know that the children who are our past beneficiaries are now in high, in high positions in reputed companies and have taken their entire family out of poverty. Akshay Patra also assisted the government of India in its relief efforts during the times of national disaster as, and especially during the time of COVID-19 pandemic. We served over 250 million meals during the pandemic in India. A kitchen was set up in Nepal to provide hot meals to people affected after a massive earthquake. Recently, we provided food, grocery, and hygiene kits in Turkey, benefiting thousands of earthquake survivors. We are also serving the people of Ukraine who were facing food security due to war. As we commemorate this important milestone at UN, it's a great occasion to offer gratitude to everyone who has shaped India's hunger elevation efforts. Akshay Patra expresses its special gratitude to the government of India, the state government, the donors, members of our board of trustees in India, both present and past, and the board of directors of Akshay Patra USA. Most of all, our appreciation for the full-time missionary disciples of Srila Prabhupada, who day after day oversee the operations and ensure that hot, nutritious meals are prepared and delivered to the schools on time all over the country. On this occasion, Standing in this prestigious Hall of United Nations, Akshay Patra announces to the world its commitment to share its rich experience in the use of best of technology and logistics of large-scale cooking and distribution of food with any organization in any part of the world to help them replicate this model to alleviate hunger. <laughs> if, invited by any, if invited by any country, Akshay Patra is most willing to go beyond the boundaries of India, driven by the passion of well-being for every citizen on this planet. I thank the Honorable Prime Minister of India for his message of best wishes and words of encouragement on this occasion. Finally, I dedicate this milestone celebration of four billion meals to Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, whose message of spiritual love and compassion for the fellow being is a constant source of inspiration for Akshay Patra. Thank you all once again. We are in this great city of New York, and it is very nice of the mayor of the city, Mr. Eric Adams, uh, who is going to, on behalf of whom, Mr. Deputy Commissioner of New York City, Mr. Dilip Chauhan, is going to present the citation to Madhupandit Dasa, Mr. Dilip Chauhan. We can just go this way. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Two questions, so I'm going to ask, considering the Akshay Patra Foundation's significant um, achievement in serving 4 billion meals under the PM Potion Abhiyan, how can international organizations collaborate more effectively to scale such initiatives globally, especially in regions facing acute food insecurity? 
May I ask Madhu Pandit Dasa to address this, please? Thank you. <clears throat> the Prime Minister's Potion Program, PM Potion Program in India, is very unique because of the government involving NGOs and civil society to achieve its goal. So if there is a message from India for other countries to succeed in such programs of feeding the children or even any hunger eradication program, it has to be done not just by the government, but the government in joining hands with the civil society, non-governmental organizations, and many anybody who has got the spirit of selfless service is a very big advantage. Every country has got organizations or where there are selfless people working for selfless causes, and they should all be involved in it, and then what the government can achieve will be miraculous as shown by Akshay Patra in India. Thank you. Thank you.